And welcome to another edition of the Route 422 Business Advisor Show. I'm your host, Bill Haley, and got a great show for you today. Here we are at the world famous Sunnybrook Ballroom. And to my right, I've got Tom Amy, the events coordinator at Sunnybrook. Tom, welcome to the show. Hi, Bill. Pleased to be here. Yep. And to my left, Will Hallman, the chair, uh, sorry, chairman uh, of the board? President of the foundation the, the board. Fa the Sunnybrook Foundation. And we're going to start out, we're going to uh, do a little tour of the Sunnybrook Ballroom and Restaurant today. We're going to start out here in the restaurant. Beautiful new facility, yeah, Will, that you have here. Um, let's start talking about the food. I know you have some great food here. You have a chef that came on board about yes. a year ago. Tell me about that. Yeah, Doug Pickett. Uh, he had been at Catillo's for a number of years, and uh, he is an award-winning chef, Culinary Institute of, uh, of uh, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. or of New York, I guess. Sure, sure. And he's an excellent chef. Everybody that's eaten here has commented on his food. Beautiful. And, uh, and, and Tom, um, Tell me a little bit about, about the fair here. It's, it's, it's your basic American cuisine? It's, it's your basic American cuisine. Uh, we do run features on some other items, like on a, a Tuesday night, we have a pasta night and, okay. and so on. We're starting to work towards doing some specialty nights during the week mm -hmm. to try to get more people in. Mm -hmm. And we try to keep the, the price at a budget reasonable price okay. for an upscale restaurant. You know. So it's great food, reasonably priced. And you say bring more people in. And, that, and that's, you know, to our viewers out there, uh, there's a fabulous restaurant right here in Pottstown. Maybe it's not right on High Street so you don't see it, but you think of Sunnybrook as entertainment. But come on over here and try the food. It's a beautiful restaurant facility. If you can see on the walls, there's all these beautiful pictures and very, very historic. Matter of fact, there's my father, Bill Haley, in the comments back here on one of these pictures. But the, uh, you have a great time here. You have great food, great entertainment, and, uh, and, and a great place to have a meal. All right, we're going to take a walk over to the world famous Sunnybrook Ballroom. We're going to talk about the entertainment and some of the other events that you can enjoy here at Sunnybrook. And here we are in the world famous Sunnybrook Ballroom. Uh, I, I have to tell you from personal experience, the acoustics in here are phenomenal. And uh, let's start off talking, Tom, about um, the types of events that we have here at Sunnybrook. Well, we have all types of events here, uh, from music to proms. We'll do weddings. We do practically anything, home shows. Right now, you can see we're in the process of getting set up for a prom, which is coming here this, this weekend. And you also have uh, corporate events. Very yes. important yes. for a lot of my viewers are in the business community, so I know that the Tri-County Chamber has had events here. The uh, BIE is back to holding its home show here, so this is a great facility <coughs> for events as well, correct? Yes, for corporate yes, events. yes. And, uh, all right, and, and Will, let's talk a little bit about the, the foundation. You're about to start a capital campaign. Let's talk a little yes. bit about, about the capital yes, campaign, the purpose, and what we're trying to do here with Sunnybrook as far as serving this community. Well, we want to uh, let the people know we've saved the thing from the wrecking ball. We've saved Sunnybrook from the wrecking ball, and, uh, and the memories are still here, but we want it to go farther than that. We want it for the, uh, for the future. We feel that Sunnybrook is for everyone. And since the foundation took over everything, every penny that comes into this place, other than salaries that have to be paid, it goes completely to the foundation to save Sunnybrook. And there's uh, millions of dollars that we've had to put into the place, and we're looking to put the part on that had to be ripped off because it was so demolished after the four or five years of no use. Uh, so there's a lot of work that we need to do yet, and we like pats on the back for having saved Sunnybrook, but that's got to interpret into dollars and cents in order to see to it uh, Sunnybrook's here for the future. For, we say Sunnybrook is for everyone. Right. And, uh, and I think it's important to get the word out there to our viewers. Uh, you, you know, you may have heard that Sunnybrook almost closed. Was it wait, wait, six, eight years ago, was it? Yeah, we op reopened it again in 2008, 2008, April of 2008, and it had been closed for about four years before that. Right, and as you said, there's been millions of dollars put in here. It's a beautiful facility. I must tell you, it's really phenomenal, the, the work they've done in here. Um, the oldest one-of-a-kind organ in, in, in the, the world. Country, in the world. Mm -hmm. Um, which you won't, probably won't hear too often, but it's a very nice... Uh, it's uh, been completely renovated. Uh, 
Uh, volunteers did the work on that to the tune of over a hundred thousand dollars of renovation to wow. that the pipes and all the things uh, all the bells and whistles are here from when Hartenstein's put it in back in 1980 wow. wow well you know it's a very unique facility but but your point is well taken it's not about pats on the back it's about uh, finding a facility that will meet the needs of the community and and uh, you know you mentioned proms yes um, you know, uh, weddings, right? Corporate events. I mean, this is a very unique facility. We we would like to have every nonprofit that wants to do a fundraiser do it here. We had the Boyertown YMCA did a big one recently. The Catholic Church did one from the schools. We have a lot of fundraising activities here, and would like to have everyone come here. Many of the the uh, nonprofits feel threatened going to a church because it sounds like they're condoning that church or vice versa. Okay. This is a non-threatening place. Sure. It's a community place where people with different ideologi ideological ideas mm -hmm. can come here and express them without feeling that they are in a place that has a different idea than they do. A very new neutral facility, right. but, but a, a tremendous one with a great history as well. And I, I have to tell you, it's what a great feeling being. I mean, you can actually just feel um, the, the uniqueness of this place when you're in it. And we're going to take a little walk up now up to uh, the front near the stage just to give our viewers a feel of what it would be like to be in Sunnybrook Ballroom watching some of these fabulous events that go on here. So we're going to take a walk up front and we'll see you in a minute. And here we are up by the, the stage in the, in the fabulous Sunnybrook Ballroom. And um, for those of you who are not aware where Sunnybrook is located, it's very, very easy to find. If you're coming off of 422, it's the Arm and Hammond Boulevard exit. And uh, it's right along High Street. If you know where the Pottstown Hospital is, it's almost right across the street from the hospital. And there's plenty of parking here. Holds what, how, how many cars? 500 cars? Around easy? 500 cars we can easily park here. It's free parking and it's easy access to the building. So it, it's very convenient for anybody who wants to attend anything here. It, it couldn't be easier to get here from almost any any we're around the area. And um, Tom, let's talk a little bit about uh, who's going to fill this stage in 2013. Well, we have a number of, of music events coming up here. Uh, we do have on the 15th of June, mm -hmm. we have our fifth anniversary here, and it'll be having our uh, house band, which is the Sounds of Sunnybrook. And they are a fabulous big band. They don't do just big band music, they do all eras of music, and it'd be a really a great night for that. So you can check the website for that. The contemporary and, and some of the older stuff's kind Correct. of Correct, yes. A lot, a lot of the, uh, your, what you would call uh, the American standards, you okay. would say. Yeah. Uh, we also have uh, Jerry Spathis Rockabilly Band coming the yeah. end of May. Mm -hmm. I know Jerry, yeah. And uh, I, like I said, I have uh, numerous events coming throughout the summer, and throughout the, the fall and winter. Uh, we'll have a, a fabulous New Year's Eve party here again like we did last we year. We always do, right? And uh, you know, just check our website, the sunnybrookballroom.net, and you can see on there all the events and, and see what's happening here at Sunnybrook. The sunnybrookballroom.net, that's correct. That's Actually, if you just put Sunnybrook Ballroom, it'll come to our, our site. You just Google Sunnybrook Ballroom and it'll get correct. you right there, gotcha. Yep. And uh, Tom, what's the phone number for people who just want to give a call and see what's happening this weekend? 484-624-5187. And you can purchase tickets online. You can purchase tickets over the phone. You can come in here personally and purchase tickets. And while you're here, have lunch or supper, one or the other. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And what are the hours on that restaurant, by the way? The, the restaurant's you? open from 11 till 9 in the evening. Mm -hmm. The bar is open from 11 till uh, around uh, midnight in the long there, so. Okay. So that's Tuesday, through Tuesday through Saturday. Saturday, and then Sunday we have the uh, Sunday breakfast brunch from uh, 10:30 till two. I've heard some good things about that brunch. How how is it going? Is it uh, people the word getting out about that? It Pretty is. Well, yes. We have a real, real excellent one coming up for Mother's Day. That will be in the ballroom, okay. and we will have the big organ uh, playing that uh -huh. uh, for the that Sunday brunch for. Uh, that's a much bigger brunch for uh, Mother's Day. We had a big one for Easter, another one coming on Mother's Day. Uh -huh. Excellent. 
All right, we've only got a couple minutes left, but Will, I just want to talk to you a little bit about you're you're very well known in the community. You own, of course, some uh, retirement communities, right? And, and we have Sanatoga Ridge community, Bukert Ridge community. We're building one mm -hmm. Stillwater community over in uh, Pennsburg mm -hmm. as we speak, mm -hmm. and uh, Kennedy Kendrick site down in Norristown. We're looking to develop that into a retirement community as well. Wow. So we've yeah, we've got a number of them you're, underway. You're, you're keeping busy. So so very briefly, how did you get involved with Sunnybrook? Well, because my dad, Stanley Hallman, who founded the Pottstown Youth Center, was involved with the Hartensteins. We had most of our act, uh, banquets over here and all the rest of the things that we had. When I took over the youth center and then uh, I started a Westmont Christian Academy and dealt with a lot of nonprofits in the area. When I heard this was going to go to the wrecking ball, I had to get involved in the thing because saving it for, especially for nonprofits to have a place to, the, the community having a place to get together, I think is something that's worth saving. Hmm. It really is. Well, I think that's a tremendous, uh, tr tremendous thing you're involved in here. I mean, it would be such a shame to lose this. This is really, this is not just a local treasure, this is a national treasure, but this is here for the people on the 422 corridor. This is, this is, this is your place. As Will said earlier, what's, what's the slogan again? It's Sunnybrook is for everyone. It's for everyone. And, and don't really forget, is. we are on the National Historic Registry. Uh, the swimming pool shape is still there. We've mm -hmm. turned it into gardens. Mm -hmm. We have functions inside and outside, a very large pavilion out there where uh, they're going to have weddings and other activities outside as well as in the ballroom here. And it's a beautiful, actually, it's very, very beautiful grounds as well. And you're, yes. you're off the street, so you don't have the, uh, the annoyance of the traffic going by. It's a, it's a great facility. Uh, well, Tom and Will, I want to thank you guys very much uh, for, for showing me around Sunnybrook Ballroom. And I, I want to invite our viewers to really, you know, check out Sunnybrook. If you've been here in the past, you have an idea of what it's all about. But if you haven't, come on down and check it out because this is truly, truly a special place, a real treasure. And um, I have to tell you, the restaurant's quite, quite good as well. I've eaten there and I'm very impressed. And it's just another great restaurant to have in Pottstown. So come on out, check out the restaurant. Check out the website, thesunnybrookballroom.net. See what's going on. And of course, if you are an organization, a nonprofit, or even a for-profit organization, and you're looking for a facility for your event, this is the spot. Give Will a call, give Tom a call. Great for Christmas parties, too. <laughs> we have a Perfect. lot of Christmas parties of, of companies. Excellent. It's not too early to start thinking about that. All right, I want to thank you for watching uh, another version of the 422 Business Show, and we'll see you next, next month.